going on everyone? Eves Lanal here. Our topic right now is about ODES. Um, I know I've been talking a lot about you know outsourcing your work, some of the work that you do, especially if you are in internet marketing, because what happens is you have so much work that you have that you know you need to outsource some of it. And I know I, I know I talked a lot about Fiverr and uh I I know I briefly spoke about ODES. Um basically ODES is kind of the same thing, but it's, it's not just like five dollars. It's it's you know it's a whole website where you can pretty much get anyone to do whatever you want, but it's you know you're hiring people essentially. It's not just like for one task. You know you can essentially hire um, an employee. Um, basically, how it works is you go to odesk.com and say you want to hire someone to do some backlinking work for you. You can either um, like post a job, or you can um, kind of look look at the out or the, you know the people who are doing freelance work to hire them. So it's up to you how you like to do it. I like to, you know, set up a job post, so then I'll have people um, kind of apply for it. And then on my job post, I actually like to put like a few requirements before, like before replying to my post, like so kind of things I would like them to respond to. So I kind of, it's kind of my way to filter people out to see that, make sure that they're paid attention, basically. Um, and then as far as like. When it comes to that process of hiring someone Odesk, there's you know usually there's there's like two types of people that you'll see on Odesk. Odesk, sorry, there's uh, the person that's just you know working on by themselves, they're freelancing. So then there's that person, and then there's also how you can also hire like an agency that you know you don't necessarily work for one work with one person, you'll work with a series of people. Excuse me. They both have, you know, their, their pros and cons. Um, one of the pros of working with one person is, you know, it's, it's a little bit more intimate and um, they can, you know, you can talk to them directly and over time you kind of build that relationship with them to where they know what you'd like to get done. Whereas when you're working with an agency, it's, you're not necessarily working with that same person all the time. You could always switch off. You know, you can be work, uh, one person could be working on your task one week. And then next week could be someone completely different. So there's that, but of course at the same time, if that person, because I, I had this happen before, um, I had the outsourcer who was working on some of my stuff. Uh, she actually got sick, and so she couldn't work on my stuff for like a couple of days. Whereas if it was an agency, you know, they would just bring someone in to do it for her. So I mean, it's it's completely up to how you like to do it. Just kind of um, play around with it. Um, definitely highly suggest using Odesk. One of my favorite uh, websites to use. I've also used Elance and you know all that other stuff. I like using Odesk. Um, there's a lot of good people that, that you can hire. So once again, uh, Eve's not here. Uh, go ahead and click the link below if you want to learn more about what I do.